G'day. Yeah. yeah. Hell, man. Hell, man. Good, 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 good. All right, look at this beef here. We're uh, on a mission today. We are currently in Omapere and um, got invited to jump out of, on, on this boat. The guys from Offshore Boats NZ and uh, we're heading out into the blue water. Gonna be going over the bar and uh, we're targeting a game fish today. So uh, the bar's over here. I don't know if you'll see that. We're just about to put the boat in the water and we'll see what happens. up we're all geared up James is on the transom there ready to go and now it's a waiting game watch these lures looking out for any fish that are going to come under them well all right we've been trolling for I don't know maybe about half an hour or so now maybe a bit longer I don't know but uh, we've just come across this big work up here so we've got dolphins we've got gannets it's all happening and uh, it's looking pretty exciting. I probably shouldn't have dived on him, eh? Oh, I don't know, man. He was pretty cautious. When you threw that flasher, he turned around, came straight back at me. That was my shot. I could have got a tail shot. It still would have been long range, but I was hoping he was going to come back around. You need to get a prick so it's not going to skew it off. You know, when I jumped in, yeah. he was right there. Right there, eh? And if my gun had been loaded, I would have just been able to go boom, but I never had a band on. Is that what I was chasing him and then you jumped? You were, I jumped in and then, I, could, I didn't even see you, I just jumped in and then he was like right there, I was like fuck! I fucking hauled first band on and thinking he might still be in range to just smack him with the first band. Yeah. But he'd, and then I was like no, 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 I need the power on this shot, you know, sort of thing. And I stopped and fucking loaded and then he'd just been, he was that much off and I looked over and you were there. Yeah, I was chasing him the whole time. Yeah. So you must have jumped in front of me. I must have, yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. It's been like, I don't know, it's probably like 3.30 or 4 o'clock or something in the afternoon. I don't, I'm not even, I don't even know. I know it's in the afternoon at some time. We've seen nothing all day and then all of a sudden, um, just saw one tailing on the surface and um, followed the lures in. And uh, yeah, I was second in. We saw it there, I don't know if I've got it on video or not, I don't know if I've got my camera on in time, but it uh, didn't give us a shot. If it had been, if I'd have hopped, had my gun loaded when I hopped in, it was like right there and I reckon I would have got a shot on it, but yeah. Hopes are up now, we can find it again. back on the trailer as you can see um, I only had that one shot we trawled for the rest of the day and uh, yeah it was pretty quiet pretty quiet day really they reckon so I guess that's uh, game fishing but um, yeah I guess we will see what happens next time Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. yeah 
all right it's another day we're just getting the boat ready loading all the gear again and uh getting ready to go so we're back out there plan's going to be basically the same as yesterday but we've had a little bit of intel on where the fish are and uh hopefully we're going to get into them all right that was a pretty quick trip over the bar we are out there it's a beautiful day we're just about to get geared up and uh back at it for another try hopefully this time we'll see a few more fish Mahi Mahi jump and uh, found a little bit of seaweed so we jumped in it was that little school of kingfish kicking around it James managed to see a marlin um, and I saw something just a, just a shape sort of come out of the gloom and as the little kingfish raced up to me at one point but uh, we hung around in there for a little while but we didn't come back so we're back trawling again now yeah. Just a fraction too late. Yeah. He wasn't quite within range. I swam straight at him, but he just outpaced me. Yeah. All right, well, we just had our shift changed again. James turned in the hot seat, so to speak. Um, that last hour was pretty interesting. I hadn't been, hadn't been my turn in the seat for long. You guys saw a marlin, um, and uh, we come up alongside it. And I jumped in and sort of I saw it and I was swimming behind it, but just didn't get close enough to get a shot. It just sort of swam out of out of sight and was gone. So it's a little bit disappointing, but uh, I guess that's the way it goes. So we are hopeful we will find more. come back in, we're just about to load the boat back on the trailer and um, we've had to call it a weekend sadly so no marlin managed to get into the boat but uh, we gave it a damn good crack and uh, yeah I guess that means we have unfinished business and we'll have to come back so yeah so yeah awesome weekend great company awesome awesome boat to be on this boat is an absolute weapon 
We came back from an, over a whole lot of chop yesterday, just bloody full tits, no worries whatsoever. It doesn't shake, it doesn't rattle, it's just a beast. So, tell you what, go and check these guys out, Offshore Boats NZ. Pretty wicked, eh? Pretty impressive, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly opened our eyes a bit, so yeah. That's um, probably pretty much it for this video, I guess. Sorry we couldn't bring you actual any fish hitting the deck, but uh, I guess that's the way it goes when you chase the big prize. You've got to take some days where you don't put fish on the deck. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video, eh? Cheers.